Hi, I'm Ruby. Hi, I'm Lauren, and we're junior scientists at BioBus. Today I'm going to be learning about drum instruments, how instruments work. So there are many different types of instruments, ranging from brass, to weapons, to strings, to percussion. But overall, they all share the same science. Science and instruments? Yes, the science behind instruments. Although some instruments may not look like it, they do share the same reasoning as to why they work. It all comes down to vibrations. Different instruments vary in how much they vibrate. Let's learn more about this. So in string instruments like the violin, viola, or cello, the player pulls a bow, right here, across the strings to make the strings vibrate, just like this. So, the vibration travels down the strings to the bridge, from the bridge to the top of the instrument, inside the instrument, and then all the way to the back. So all these things working together make the entire instrument vibrate. And sound comes out through the F holes, conveniently shaped like an F, every time you play a note, because anything that vibrates produces sound. So each string is unique for its own vibration because each string is a different size. A thicker string will produce a lower pitch compared to a thinner string, which would be higher in pitch. So, unfortunately, only four notes for a professional instrumentalist does not cut it. This is why on the neck part of a violin, viola, or cello, you see players place their fingers on them. By shortening how much space the vibration has to travel, higher notes can be played. Today, we're going to show you how to make your own instrument. We have two different types a xylophone and a guitar. First, I'll show you how to make a guitar, and then my pal Lauren will show you how to make the xylophone. So, the materials that you'll need are a cereal box, a ballpoint pen, three to five rubber bands, and some scissors. rubber band inside the hole, grab it from the inside and pull it through the circle so you can tie a knot at the very end of the rubber band. To create the knot, you'll wrap the rubber band around your two fingers and slip the end underneath. Pull the end and push the knot up to the top. Repeat this process until all of your rubber bands are tied. After all of the rubber bands were tied, I realized that one band was longer than the others, so I put the box over my head and I just cut the yellow rubber band to the same length as the blue rubber bands. Now I'm just going to make sure that the rubber bands are also tied at the top. I ended up putting my pencil case in the cereal box because I realized the box wasn't sturdy enough to poke holes at the top. So you can also do the same thing. Before finalizing your string by tying it, make sure you like the sound it makes. I pulled the string higher and lower to make sure that I like the sound. Congratulations, you've finally reached the last step of your guitar. 
close the box and play. Before you go, you've probably noticed that strumming each string may sound different. Why do you think this is happening? Even by pressing down on the rubber bands above the circle, it changes the pitch. Why? You can write down your observations. Now that Ruby's showing you how to make a guitar with a cereal box, I'm going to show you how to make a xylophone with cups. Before we can make our xylophone, we're going to need some materials. You need five or more glass cups. They should all be approximately the same size. You'll also need a measuring cup, a metal spoon, and some food color, but that's optional. You'll also need some access to water, so go find a sink. You'll need to measure out one-fourth of a cup of water and add it to your first cup. Every time you add a new cup to your xylophone, the amount of water inside should be one-fourth cup more than the previous cup. Try making the xylophone with five cups. If you have food coloring, you can add it to your xylophone to make it super colorful. So now that you've made the xylophone, play around with it. What happens when you tap your spoon against the different glasses? Try changing the pitch of the glasses by changing the amount of water inside. What happens when you add more water? Less water? Now think about how this applies to other instruments. Why is a tuba so much lower than a trumpet? Or why is a violin so much higher than a cello? What happens when you use a different liquid, like milk? Write your observations and answer the questions in the sheet below. When you're testing out your xylophone, make sure to send us some pictures. Bye! Until next week, we challenge scientists. We can't wait to see your submissions.